Hi guys, this is Camille from Outlet Shop UK. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to print Amazon FBA label using using a Dymo printer. So first I'm going to tell you very quickly the whole overview because for some of you that might be enough. And then I'm going to tell you show I'm going to show you step by step on my screen uh, how it's done and I will tell you more about the labels that I uh, think are best for it and what to look um, for if, uh, when buying actually uh, labels for your Dymo sticker. Sticker? Why am I saying sticker? For your Dymo printer. So let's start from the overview. So what you need to do, you need to go to Amazon, prepare the labels, just choose one of each item, open it in uh, Adobe Reader, then highlight the part that you want to print, then choose to print, uh, Control P or from the print menu. In the settings, choose your printer, which is Dymo something, whichever you use, then choose the obviously the settings, the, uh, how it fits, make sure that you're only going to print the selection of what you selected in the Adobe, and uh, choose the right paper size um, in the properties menu, and then the print as many as you want. Print one, see if it works, and that's it. So now, step by step, how it works, here we go. So what I'm using here, as an example, I'm using Dymo Label Writer 450, uh, and I'm using uh, this paper, the paper number is 11354, 11354. And, and the labels here are laid, as you can see, vertically, as opposed to many others uh, that are laid horizontally. So if, if this was on the roll, it would be horizontal and not, sorry, the, the other way around, this would be uh, vertical as opposed to horizontal like this one. And that, that's important, I'm going to show you uh, in a moment why. Okay, so uh, what do you need to do? So once you've prepared your shipment on Amazon, uh, you simply click obviously to continue. And now Amazon is going to check uh, the labeling requirements. And if you choose that you are as a seller responsible for labels, you choose how many labels to print. Now it's enough to print just one of everything uh, in case of uh, what we're doing here. If you're printing on A4, then you need to probably make it double of it because you want two stickers per page. With um, dime or label print or any other label print, you just need one using the method that I'm going to show. Okay, so uh, we've got total 17 labels. Now, which option to choose? There are two options that I recommend, but usually, I think the best one is this one, 40 up, so it's 52.5 millimeters by almost 30 millimeters. Now in inches, inches around 25 millimeters, uh, so that's uh, two inches something and uh, one inch and a bit. Uh, the other option you can use is this one, which is just a little bit smaller and it might be better for your items that are very small but you need to make sure that the quality is spot on and you need to test it because sometimes I, I wasn't really happy with the quality uh, so I'd rather stick to this one, 40 up. Okay, so let's uh, print labels for this page. Now Amazon prepares it. And uh, now I'm, I'm going to open it with the system viewer. In my case, um, uh, the system viewer I'm using uh, is Adobe. Now it will work also with Adobe Reader, of course, uh, and actually I'm using now Adobe Reader. Now, uh, this already wants to print, but I don't want to print yet. So I'm going to cancel this. So I'm, uh, this is now open ah, with Adobe Reader. Okay, excellent. So let me just resign so you could see the whole Adobe Reader. Okay, so I've got 17 labels and what I'm going to do uh, just for my convenience, I'm going to make it bigger so I can see it clearly or even much bigger, you know, even like this. So let's say now what I want, I want to print this one, Tamron, uh, uh, Tamron Lens. So what I need to do, I need to go to not file, but to edit and click on take a snapshot. And then I have this cross and I can highlight exactly what I want, more or less. Then I click Control Print or I click on the printer sign to print it. Label, a Dymo Label Writer for 50 is selected already, so that's good. Selected graphic, this is important. And this is the preview of what we are going to print. Now, actual size is what we want. 
However, if you use this or this, very often it will be useful, depending on your situation. You might find that when you print something, it doesn't really look that great, so experiment with this. But normally you would do actual size. If you have auto print landscape, it might choose it the right way, uh, but it might not. Now, funnily enough, if you choose landscape, you can see it's actually now showing it uh, vertically in a portrait mode. Why? Remember, I was I told you that I'm using the labels that are actually uh, uh, arranged uh, horizontally, not vertically. That's why. With most other labels, uh, I'm not sure if with all, but definitely most, uh, or maybe not. With other labels, uh, they are arranged uh, vertically. Uh, you would have the other way around. So. I'm going to obviously choose portrait because I want landscape, <laughs> if that makes sense to you. And uh, that's almost it. Here you've got the size of the document, which is the thing that you highlighted. And this is the size of the paper. Now, Dymo has a different size of a paper marginally. So maybe this one is more precise. I don't know. Uh, doesn't matter, but it's good enough. So what you need to do, you need to choose the right paper size. If you have problems with it, uh, you can uh, go to website of Dymo or some other companies that sell it, including Amazon, and then find the number. I, in, on the original Dymo label, you will find the number at the back here. So I can see this one is 11354. So I've already selected it, but I'm going to show you. You click on properties. Quality, I think best is the best one, uh, especially now with uh, thermal printer when you don't waste actually any ink or toner. I don't know why we shouldn't choose best, but I don't have experience with them either. And then you need to click on advanced, either here or here, which is exactly the same advanced menu. And then it takes you to the paper size and you can see there are lots of paper sizes and finding the, the right one uh, that you want is very difficult unless you know which number it is. So again, I check it's 11354, so I'm choosing 11354 multipurpose. The, these are the uh, these um, classifications come actually from Dymo. They they have decided this, and that comes, I'm guessing, uh, together with the printer for your, with sorry, with the driver for your printer. So you you need to install the software that comes with Dymo to get this, and obviously then you click OK, you click OK, and then you just click print and let's see if that works. Fingers crossed. Oh, it went back and now it printed. With those printers, if I print on Lewandi, it comes back and then it prints. But if I print many at the same time, it prints well. So I think it printed well. Now, what you need to pay attention to is to the quality of the print. You need to make sure that the spaces between the bars are big enough so you can see it with your naked eye if you've got good eyesight. Uh, if you, I used um, uh, the quality that wasn't best and smaller labels and they were, some of them were very close to each other and I took my phone uh, and a scanner application, any scanner application will do to test it and it struggled. It finally scanned it but it struggled so I knew it wasn't right and then I printed it, printed it with the best quality and the spaces between bars were alright. So I suggest you do the same so the guys in the Amazon Center do not struggle with it. Make it easier for them, basically. Uh, OK, so I'm happy with the quality on uh, this one. Uh, so I think that's all right. And I'm going to print two more. Now, ah, one more important thing. Sometimes when you print the first one, it might not be a light. It might be half of this or, or, or that way. Don't worry, print one more. It's simply maybe the printer is not um, hasn't clocked actually what paper it has and the next one will probably be all right. So, so print one and then one more uh, before you start changing the settings because the settings might be right, yeah? So print one more. Okay, so I'm gonna print two more. So I'm gonna obviously, uh, the selection is still the same. I always check settings even though I know Adobe remembers them and it will be the same, but just in case I, I check the settings, actual size, again, properties, just in case I'm going to check uh, the paper, 11354, print quality. Oh, I think the best, uh, because that I chose the best quality, the uh, print quality changed from 3 
hundred by three hundred to three hundred to six hundred. I think that's the setting uh, that we choose. This one print barcodes and graphics. What else do we have? Text only barcodes and graphics. Okay, so these are pre-selected um, settings. They don't really they, they basically do the same thing whether you change it here or there as long as it says 300 by 600 that's the best quality and uh, and that's alright so let's change the qu oh custom now oh, that's interesting okay fair enough so we can change some other settings here I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to experiment with it now because it's not necessary so two of them print let's see what it looks like in practice. First one, second one. Perfect! Okay, did they come out exactly the same way? Yeah, and I'm quite happy, so I'm just gonna remove that. Uh, remove them. Okay, so basically that's how you do it, and you print as many as you like. If you want something else, you select the next one, and, and you do the, exactly the same thing. Now with the labels there is one thing I, I want to tell you that's important. I bought not an original but another uh, a replacement for Dymo and I did some tests. Now quality uh, wise, I mean the, the whiteness, I think it's the same whiteness, maybe there might be some difference but really I cannot see with, my, with the naked eye. I don't think there is a bit of a, a lot of a difference. May, maybe it's Maybe there is, but it doesn't matter. Uh, now, the important thing is that these stick really well onto, onto whatever you stick them on. And you might think, oh, that's great, but it's not. The FBA requirement is that the customers must be able to remove the stickers without damaging the packaging or the original box. So this automatically disqualifies um, this for FBA, unless, obviously, you're putting it on the boxes that are not... Uh, the representative boxes, so to say, not <laughs> the boxes, you know what I mean, you know, when people don't really care, people throw them away, but if you have proper boxes, like this one, for example, um, you you don't want uh, something like this to happen. Uh, when when I use the old uh, A4, um, the stickers that I printed on A4 page, and this is what happens, I cannot remove it. While I've tested the Dymo stickers, they really come off. Not, not that easily, they come off, you need to use some force, but once you uh, rip the corner, so to say, uh, you can remove the hole, peel it off uh, without any problems. Um, so they have a really good balance between the sticking and the easiness of taking them, of peeling them off. So um, uh, beware of that. Now, I hope that was uh, helpful. Uh, if you want more information, contact me. Again, I'm from Outlet Shop UK. You can find us on uh, via our websites, uh, outletshopuk.com or .co.uk. And um, uh, my name is Kamil. And also, you can find my private videos on the completely different topics on my YouTube channel, Kamil's View, uh, on YouTube, obviously. So, guys, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, uh, Let's start the discussion here on YouTube. I would appreciate any comments or, on, or questions actually here on YouTube under the video. And uh, I will make an effort to respond to them as soon as I can, as soon as I see notification from YouTube. If I'm actually, um, uh, if I see the notification, I will respond practically immediately. If not, please forgive me. I, I will respond or send me an email or, or contact me some other way. So thank you for watching. I hope that was helpful and um, I'm actually looking forward to doing some business with you. Maybe you actually will buy something from, from our shop. So if you liked what I told you, please buy something from our stores. That will be and um, that uh, how you can appreciate and thank me uh, for this video. So thanks for watching. Have a great uh, life. <laughs> Ciao. Bye.